Gary? I'm curious who who votes for this, you know, where the Occupy is? Because in my opinion, this is just a question here. Um, if I'm not willing to occupy, I don't think I have a right to even say where the occupation is. I think the people who are actually planning on doing the Occupy should have the sole right to make that decision. We are um, respectfully requesting that if you do not plan on occupying at any point, that you do abstain from voting. Um, if you plan on occupying, it doesn't have to be every single day, but if you plan on spending the night at any point, if it's once or twice or three times, or once a week or once a month, um, if you do plan on occupying and staying overnight, then we do ask you to vote, but if you do not plan on occupying, then we do request that you abstain. But everyone is welcome to vote. Could you please tell me, um, clarify for me, what the electrical situation is in Wadley Square? There is electricity available. Four of um, Oh yeah, now remember what I was going to say. Health and Human Services, just, I'm not sure if this is exactly the point, but Health and Human Services is taking care of the bathroom situation between either getting porter potties or making a list of people who will let us use their bathrooms based on where we're actually going to be. And a real quick thing, I pulled it up since people were confused about it. Chapter 24, Parks and Recreations, says uh, no persons are permitted in, the, in any park uh, during the hours of darkness except those designated areas for extended use activities or unless written permission is obtained from the Department of Special Services for after dark programs. then you can still vote, but we request that you leave that more to the decision of people who will be sleeping overnight, just because they're going to be the ones who are going to be staying there 24-7. And they have to be the ones who are more comfortable with it. So you are allowed to vote. You're more than welcome. We do. I mean, have one minute. Let's get any final questions. No. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to disagree, too, only because with the who's going to vote because they're number one we've got we've got a core of legal observers who by their nature we we are separated from the occupation we are third party and any final and point of order okay point of order these are concerns these are not clarifying questions thank you thank you thank you questions well Rodney square is usually i mean has had a, a large number of homeless people in the past right i mean do they sleep there overnight? Yes. I would think that that would have to be a lot of coordination that would go on. Maybe even, because I've been up to the Philadelphia, and I'll wrap this up, but there is a lot of coordination effort with the homeless community up in Philadelphia. And that's sort of what makes it special. Okay. Eric? That's right. This is the last question. Okay, that, that's it. Uh, Bernie. Um, that's the last question. question. Um, they usually put an ice hockey ring or a skating ring in Little Rodney Square for the winter. So yeah. that's, that's, you know, I'm just letting you know. Oh, okay. That's but very the very good city, point. The city that had it done. <laughs> Thank you. That goes along with them not going to give this point. Concerns. Stack the concerns. Uh, uh, the question is, for the occupiers that are going to be occupying whatever park that we're at, are they going to be responsible for their own policing and safety and, and welfare of themselves, or is there going to be occupied? We have committees. Okay. So, People on the security committees. Um, it's not really a concern, but one of the things that Philly is doing is 
So we don't necessarily need to camp in Romney Square, but we could be in Romney Square. So uh, we also, bear with me, I have to get to another inbox. <laughs> I got it. You want to do it? Okay. Trees is going to come up. She has some information um, from a city official about Christina Park specifically. All right. At this point, um, for Christina Park, we've been offered sort of a bribe, I guess you'd call it, by the city. In exchange for not occupying Rodney Square, so they'll give us right up front um, two weeks um, with no fees in Christina Park. They will give us food uh, pots, garbage. Electric, um, right? We can bring girls in, set up uh, you know, all the stuff that we need: cooking, tents. There's a waiver; they'll allow us to sleep in the park overnight. It's two weeks, which would take us to the. Uh, that would take us up to the uh, another proposed site that we have. Um, the Quakers considered a proposal for us, but to, well, they would host us at their meeting site. Uh, at the Wilmington Friends Meeting House, but they will not entertain that proposal until the 14th of November, so that would be the soonest um, that they would talk to us about the use of that space. And yeah, we can't have bonfire meetings. Oh, oh, thank Christina Park, yeah, the, city, the only restriction that they placed on us at the point in time is no bonfires. Thank you. So um, now, does anyone have any factual information uh, they want to share about Christina Park? Five minutes for taking stats. Okay. Do you have a name yet? We got Susan. You want to start? Who's who's first? Susan. Susan? Yeah. Uh, Christina Park, as you know, is now locally known as Third Street Park, even though it's at the bottom of Fourth Street. Exactly. That's how we. That's what we call it. Okay, third third street park is Christina Park. Is Christina Park? Okay. Next on staff. Uh, next is Michelle. Michelle, uh, I did a little research for health and human services since we are um, worried about the bathrooms, and um, I guess factual information on that is when just looking at the Google Maps of it, there didn't seem to be all that many places, businesses that we might um, be able to I think Treves forgot to mention that the city was going to be willing the city, to provide the city a support for the for right. right. so that were, location. For, for that, for Christina Park only. Um, this waiver, any of the other parks that we look at, anything else, <laughs> it, you know, it's, it'll all be off the table. This was just the deal that we got from the mayor's office today. If we take Christina Park, they will give us two weeks right up front waiver, which means we can get extended. They'll give us the porta pots, the camping overnight, um, the electricity, they're going to throw that in, the trash. Um, they'll allow us to bring in grills and stuff to do our own cooking. It's just this park, no other park, and anything else have to start from scratch again. Okay. Josh? Josh? Um, one thing that we did notice is that there is already a large population of homeless around the park, um, and that we did speak to several other groups. There was another group there that day who was giving out clothing and food and toiletries to the park, that it is known for, unfortunately, drugs and guns. Mm -hmm. Um, which is probably why the city is willing to give it to us. <laughs> in, in addition to the fact that it is approximately 14 blocks away from Rodney Square. Now, the one thing about that though is that though it is 14 blocks away, we have two separate parking lots that are very long, which we can use for ferrying people from the park up to Rodney Square if they cannot walk. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Anyone next? Eric. Eric. What? How? This sounds really naive, but how long are you actually looking to occupy? I know forever would be a great idea, but I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't. I mean, until the national. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. As we approach December, I'm trying to think of. Right. I don't know if that belongs in this discussion. So I think that does need to be discussed. So it's not right now. Okay. Who's next? Alex. I just want to. Alex. He mostly got what I was going to say about. Okay. It's a lot of abandoned uh, warehouses in the area. And it was 
Right, I think that we might have to not have to worry about that pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> and also the uh, there's a fishing queue there. I'm sorry, what was that? Fishing queue there. Fishing queue, okay. I was with the action committee the day we went to look at Christina Park, and um, we did speak with some of the homeless that were in the park and around the park, and um, I got the sense that they seemed welcoming to us. You know, they sat and talked to us, and uh, actually told us as we were leaving that we would be welcome to come. So. Mm -hmm. Norris? Uh, when you were talking about um, uh, Christina Park and then uh, the Quaker Hill, were you talking about multiple locations, like being at uh, Christina Park for two weeks and then maybe transferring to Quaker Hill? I, yeah, uh, yeah, there's been discussion of, you know, um, just getting occupied now, you know, and not delaying it, and then worrying about you know, potentially moving if the Quakers um, decide that we can use their space because that is owned by the Quakers and we wouldn't be able to be removed from that space. So, um, next. Uh, next is Kevin. Yes, uh, I found the park absolutely desolate. It would be pitch black, surrounded by abandoned buildings, uh, large population of homeless, I found it to be very intimidating. Yeah. Information facts. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just very. Anyone else on staff for factual information? That's it. Chris. Staff is closed after this. Pretty much. Just want to tell you guys. This is the fact. I mean, if we don't get this lifted off the ground now, we get a place to take it. Yes, so just facts, factual information. So now we're going to do um, clarifying on site. Yeah, you can finish that. Okay. Can't take any okay. Stack, stack, Sorry. So we'll finish off stack. He's got one. I got one. Okay. Susan? Yes. There's a man on fishing off the fishing boat. You can fish with catch and release. The Christina River is highly, highly, highly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Next. I'm familiar with the park, uh, but there are facilities for us to get to and to use. There are a lot of churches in the area, which I'm sure we could go up and down. Also, too, the uh, homeless people that were there, as we all know what has happened in Oakland, uh, if we have our food tent set up and we're showing the community what we really are about, like we used to feed the homeless and all these people that are around here, they will not hinder us, they will be with us and help us. We just have to be sure that, you know, we get the park cleaned up a little bit because it is a beautiful park. So I just want to raise that point. The homeless people and the isolation of it can be daunting, but then again, if you look at the situation that is there, it's not daunting at all. It is nothing that, of course, I'm, I'm not used to handle it. So. Okay, next. Last. Last one, staff? There's no one? That's empty. Okay, so now we're going to go to clarifying questions about Christina Park. Um, I guess my clarifying question is as concerned with um, the safety of the area. Do we have any idea of like, well, I know that um, the legal um, and security team has a plan for, for having a watch wherever we, we do. Um, but do we expect to have police around? I mean, either as watch I, I would say wherever we are, we're, there's going to be police watching us. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Right. So Josh is saying that the amount of police will be determined by, by the city. Um, so. Next. Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, I know that so the city wanted us to be Christina in the park so that we wouldn't be bothering things in Madison Square. But I think I'm going to rescind their generosity there if uh, they see us going over to Rodney Square. I, I, 
think they could they could do that. You know, I, I don't. But then we do have um, the possibility of maybe having another location through the Quakers. That's uh, you know could be Plan B. Do we know how many uh, park options there are? I, I don't know where to cast my vote in this whole process. How many more are we going to hear about? We are, you're going to hear a lot more. There's a total of three locations. And we'll be voting on locations at the end. Amy? Um, yeah. I, well, you said you, you negotiated with the city. Was uh, legal security or the ACLU involved in those negotiations at all? No. No. <laughs> That was just a, a member of the action committee who has. And this is official. This is an official offer. We have it in writing. From the city. We have an email. Oh. Okay. Next. Andy. Well, she kind of asked my question about police. You're saying that the police are definitely guaranteeing the presence there. No, no, it, it'll be determined by the city. I was just well, saying that I, I, I think there will be a police well, presence wherever we are. Where can I um, answer that? Yeah. Just, I mean, no, as far as the police goes, it, you know, we can only speculate, but we will have uh, members of the Legal and Security uh, Committee on watch 24 7. But we don't carry guns. We don't carry guns, but yeah. there won't be somebody watching out for everyone. Do, do, do we need guns? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. no but, 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 okay, let's get back to the uh, clarifying questions now. Who's next? Yeah. I wanted to find out if during the discussions with Jeff and We won't know until the period is up. So, next. Okay, so now we're on concerns. Yes. Deb? Okay. Go ahead. Deb. Right, well, what we're, what we're talking about here is just... Can I just, finish my concern? Oh, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, it's not that long. Sure, go ahead. Um, I, just, I just worry that, that we're leaning towards uh, a camping trip and not an occupation for not sorry. occupying a space that is otherwise unoccupied. Right, okay. And uh, I think, though, that when we're talking about our... Not questions. These are questions. This is a voice concerns. Oh, but can we, can we address the concern? You want to get on the list? You can, you can know we're addressing her concern. That's, that, that's perfectly valid. <laughs> well, yeah, that, I mean, that's what we're, we're, we're doing The person moderated to do it. So. I thought it was a direct conversation. <laughs> this is kind of a cross discussion. Well, if we're not addressing the concerns, Facilitators? Yeah. Okay, the point of what we're trying to get accomplished is concerns. If you have a concern, we're going to address it to the committee and we'll try and answer you. <laughs> This is a representative of the committee. That's not a yeah. concern, that's no. a question. This is a question and answer. I think there's a little misunderstanding about the process. So you don't so want an answer to the concern? Correct. Okay. Okay. I want to voice my concern and have it be heard by the I, General Assembly. I think that's valid. Okay, that's fine. You can finish your sentence. But So for anyone who's not familiar with the process, we have empowered the committees to do planning and research for us. This is a representative of the committee. This person is authorized to answer your concerns as best she can. If she doesn't have that information, she can reach out to others who may have that information. You're welcome to express your concerns, but let's please be respectful. Okay, um, next on staff. Dan. Dan. I just uh, I wanted to pretty much say a lot of the same. I, I'm just concerned that uh, just as a, a point of like media, that you know, that there be symbols of what we're against in the background, or else it sort of just sort of sounds like we're just hanging out talking to each other, and not to somebody we actually want to have a chance with. 
is there some way that we could, even if we aren't like doing the park, some way that we can make it so that uh, uh, I, I, I didn't know if, there, if there's some way that, uh, I, I don't know what the third facility location uh, possibility is, but I didn't know if there's some way that either we can make sure that we uh, that we are in Riley Square or else make this other location somehow have a little bit more home. Because as it's described now, it sounds like a retreat rather than a Well, we, we do have another location. <coughs> and I think, you know, I'm not the presenter for that, but that location is closer to Riley Square. But um, we're going to just stick with this location for now. Um, one of the things we have talked about in actions, though, is we are going to have daily actions in the city, in Rodney Square, in some of the other parks that are downtown. So we are going to be visible. We're not just going to be staying to the, the location we are spending the night in. Okay, Bill? Yeah. Um, my, my concern is that this idea of the, the offer from the mayor's office, um, just in speaking with the ACLU, uh, I've been kind of the, the liaison to the committee. Um, the, we are, we constitute a, a public assembly, a lawful public assembly. There are exceptions in both the state code and in the city code from the parking overnight laws, from the loitering laws, from all, every one of those laws that would prevent us from staying overnight, from occupying an area, anything from a lawful public assembly, that's what we are. And so should, we shouldn't take this idea of an offer from the mayor's office as an idea of, oh, that'll be a good way, a good way to go because we won't get in trouble. I think we view that as, that's, that's the well, Wilmington's free speech zone. <laughs> They're trying to dictate when and where we're going to have our lawful public assembly when in reality and legally, we can go anywhere we want in a public space as long as we're following the laws, as long as we're being uh, respectful of the environment, uh, being respectful of the people, we're allowed to go where we want and the ACLU is going to back us up. That's my concern. Okay. Uh, staff is closed. I've got two on staff. I've got three. Steve? <laughs> Actually, my uh, concern is already voice is about the like, invisibility. Mike? Yeah, I just want to the same concern that it seems like they're trying to assimilate us, and that's how corporations kind of I have a really practical concern, and that is security. Because if you are going to be spending night, you know, that's a wonderful idea to go spend the night, but I do want you, if you're going to spend every night there, to be safe. And if that's not a top priority of the police to go around, it's wonderful to have a, a unarmed people around, but one thing I was impressed with in Philadelphia is not only were the police there, but they were actually very nice, and they were very happy. I mean, obviously they were being paid, but they were there, and they were providing a service, and it actually worked very nicely, so I'm concerned about the people that are there. How they work here, Pastor? Yeah, my concern was voiced many times just about visibility. It feels like they're sort of like sequestering us, so... Well, I mean, the, the, again, the thing about that is, is we will be going out and protesting in all those locations in the daytime. And there's no businesses in the city. Okay, next. Okay. Just uh, for clarification, the judgment of the front dimension here is actually correct. It is correct? Okay. Wait, right. I'm sorry, we're talking. I didn't hear that. Unless you have something specifically factual that you can Okay, unless there is something specifically factual uh, that I can address or some that we can address um, when we are doing the concerns, that we shouldn't be responding to the concern. Okay, Cindy? Yeah, I'm with the concern is that really we try to work with the communities that we're going to be going to. And right now, the movement isn't getting all that great press. That doesn't mean that that's, that's correct and that's all that's happening, but it's the truth. And I think working with the city or any city is probably going to be at least a way to start out. Okay, next on tasks. Anyone left? All right, no. That's it?
Okay, um, so now for this location, um, this isn't a vote on the location, we just want to get an idea of who would want to, uh, who would be willing to occupy Christina Park location. Who's counting? Hold your hands up really high. Okay, so now I am going to turn it over to Chris and he's going to share our third location with you. Hello, as she said, I'm Chris um, and I'm sharing with you H. Fletcher Brown Park. This one is a little closer. Um, in Christina Park, I actually got past it, and it's only five blocks from Rodney Square. Okay, real darn close, three blocks. <laughs> okay, apparently Google Maps can't be trusted, I'm sorry. Um, it's, oh, hi. Um, but Fletcher Brown, I said that originally. Um, it's a pretty expansive and roomy park. Uh, there's a lot of grassland um, in addition to some concrete area too. So for setting up tents, it, it seems like an area that could be ideal except for the landscape being kind of hilly. So positive and negative there. Um, there unfortunately is no real parking in that area. So that's one thing that it doesn't have. Um, and there is no electricity, as we were told. Um, however, there are bus stops that are nearby at Fletcher Brown Park. So, the address, the, address, the address of the park? I don't know the exact um, It is. It's, uh, it's a little bit north of Rodney Square. Square 15. On King Street. Joined by North Martin. Yeah. And that brings me to another point I wanted to mention. It's, yeah, it's right off of King Street, so it's. In, not in a out of the way location. Yeah. Um, it's also pretty close to a lot of downtown banks, you know, Chase, Bank of America, so, such like that. And um, there are evidently a couple of residential communities just like over the bridge from the park. Um, also, this is an advantage compared to Rodney Square. There really aren't events that go on there. Um, so we wouldn't be disrupting the public's activities. However, um, it is state-owned at Fletcher Brown Park, unlike all the other Wilmington parks, which are city-owned. Uh, it is also run by Rencorp, so it might not be all that different in the end. Um, and yeah, in keeping with being short and concise as I'd like to be, I think that's all I have at the moment. Electricity? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, there, we were told by a city worker who was uh, strolling through the park that there is none there, so, unfortunately. Um, so now I guess we would go to, um, I, yeah, we would go to staff. Well, I was thinking, isn't factual information and concerns should be no? Okay. Factual information. Good news. 
they would, they would bring in Jensen. Oh. The Allison set. There is, I live a block away from this park. There is absolutely no park. Um, I don't know anything about the electric. Just a couple of things that, that do happen there. Um, it's right behind the Hercules building, so a lot of people take a lunchtime walk, which will increase visibility. Uh, there is also a child care center that uses that um, park uh, for recreation for the children. So it would be wise to connect with them at some point if this is a choice. Um, my understanding of this park was that it was city-owned, but state-managed. So there might be some kind of complications there in terms of you know, connecting with the right people about everything. Um, I had looked over it for the Healthy Human Services <coughs> Committee. It's really close um, to the YMCA facilities, and we were talking about them, about them allowing us to use some of their facilities. We don't have really an answer on it, but um, there's a possibility if we can use the Y that's right over there, we can use um, the facilities at the Y's homeless center, I guess it is. Um, and on the plus side for us also, it's really close to Christiana Hospital, or to Wilmington Hospital, so if anything bad does happen, and I hope not, but um, you're really close to the hospital, which I think is close. Yeah, this is great adjacent to, uh, for anyone who doesn't know where it is, uh, for anyone who runs the library, there is some parking, but it's only daytime parking in for anyone park down the river of uh, more mosquitoes there too. <laughs> yes, all the gospel in the back. Okay, Tom? Uh, some 15 years ago or something, there were jazz concerts in that spot. The slope of the land makes a natural amphitheater. Oh. <laughs> Good, interesting point. <song. laughs> yeah. For our musicians out there. <laughs> Susan? Um, um, yeah, the park actually, uh, the city of Wilmington, you know, had owned Brandywine Park, and we gave that away to the state. And so H. Fletcher Brown may be part of that, maybe the state actually may be in control of that instead of. Yeah. Well, like, like, as I said, in the, uh, in the end, there, it's owned by Renaissance Corporation, yeah. or run, I should say. Thanks for correcting me. Um, it's run by Renaissance Corporation, and we've been referred there when we try to contact the state or the city about this park. When does that come? It's a, it's, the park is actually like <coughs> 14th and Market. It's really not on Main Street. Okay. What I was going to say was Okay. Uh, Eric. I'm doing this to myself because I'm out of, I have a question and not a Sorry. Thank you. Uh, Philip. Yeah, uh, these are factual things, trying to explain. Yes, okay. Uh, what about uh, drop off areas there, or places to pull over to pick stuff up? You said there's no parking, but can you stop and unload or anything like that? That's a question. You know how that works? That's a question. 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 That is a clarifying question, but since it's been asked, um, I didn't really notice. Did any of you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Facts now. Facts. Get the question. Let's not mix it up or we'll turn in. I got you. Okay. Also, facts, not facts. They have like a small drop off area for their building where cars can pull in and out. It's walkable very easily to park. Also, as far as parking goes, there are some colonial lots that are within walking distance, which you can't come there during the day, but after 5 p.m., generally. So there are a couple of churches nearby, there's St. Patrick's Church, and some other churches. Could you repeat that one more time? Which part? The beginning part? Uh, there is like a drop-off area on the, near the Hercules building that's kind of like just a So we will. So there are places close by for drop off. Yeah, um, I mean it's, it's this, part there's of their this building. Site. No, that's, that place is not that close. Not that close. Okay. 
But we can always transport in. Right, it's possible. Okay. That's been important to inform you all that the stack is closed. Oh, okay, so we've run out of stack. Too. Okay. Okay. So, questions? Generator, probably. Okay, but what was even, you know, that's an issue that we should clarify before. If it, 